Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I am just sitting here kind of between two things, so I thought I would do a quick little morning rambles. I was going through some comments on YouTube, um, and then I have a treadmill class that I'm going to in about a half hour. <laughs> I should uh, definitely get ready soon. Uh, but I saw a bunch of comments underneath my... I think it was the Merit Solo Shadow vlog where I did like a little bit of a cleanup and I was talking about my dirty brushes or whatever and many of you were commenting like, oh, hope your assistant can help with that. So I wanted to give you an update on that. Um, it's good news, but my assistant is not with me anymore because she got a full-time job. So, you know, I think, I think she enjoyed working with me. I really enjoyed working with her, but she got a really nice opportunity to work full-time somewhere you know, with benefits and all of that. And um, I was very happy for her. She was um, happy about it as well. Um, and we actually, we communicated, she got the offer and we communicated um, while I was in New York. So this is quite recent. And um, so yeah, so I'm on my own again. <laughs> I'm on my own again. <sighs> and I am, uh, you know, trying to keep things together um, in terms of all the things that she was helping me out with. So, you know, it was, it was quite a bit, you know, she was really keeping on top of me, uh, you know, in regards to all the stuff that I was just doing myself, the putting the makeup away and washing the brushes. Um, I have a pile of dry cleaning here that normally she would drop off and, uh, pick up, picking up UPS packages, sending stuff, uh, taking care of the Mercari store. Uh, so I'll be doing all of that, uh, myself, which is fine. You know, I did it myself before. It was just really nice to have an extra pair of hands here, especially when I was out of town. Um, so the timing is actually pretty good since I am going to be here for a while and I can just kind of get back into the groove of things uh, myself. Um, but I just wanted to address that because when I saw those comments, I was like, oh my God, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mention that to you guys. I just forgot because, you know, everything has just been such a whirlwind lately. So anyway, I am just sitting here thinking about what I want to film and what I need to film and uh, my next blog post. But yeah, that's what's on my mind. But I should get ready for this. Yes, I should get dressed for this treadmill class. I've got to pick up my husband from the airport. He is coming home today. Uh, and then I'm meeting my mom for lunch. We are going to a seafood place. She's taking me out for my birthday. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Um, and that's pretty much my day other than, you know, creating content, doing work and stuff. Uh, but I'll see you guys in a bit. So I just got back from my treadmill class. I'm, I'm still sweating. Just ignore my, ignore my appearance here. <laughs> Before I showered, I actually wanted to use my new higher dose PEMF Go Mat. Um, and this is something I've been dying to tell you guys because I've been testing this out for a while and it is, it's really been life-changing, especially because I've been on this fitness journey. I've been working out a lot a lot for me and I've been dealing with a lot of muscle soreness and I'll get into all of that in just a second but this mat has really really helped with that so I'm working with higher dose and Sephora on this portion of the video because higher dose is now available at Sephora I'm so so excited as you guys know higher dose is one of my favorite biohacking companies they make the most incredible tools um, the sauna blanket do you remember me testing that out I've been using that on and off since I got it this past spring. It is so relaxing. So this PEMF Go Mat is an incredible biohacking tool. So this term biohacking, beauty biohacking was new to me, but it was um, basically describing things that I've done. And I really liked being able to define these things that we all know. So beauty biohacking refers to the practice of using various biological and technological methods to enhance one's physical appearance and overall beauty. This concept combines principles from both biohacking, which involves optimizing and improving your body and mind using science and technology, and the beauty industry, which focuses on cosmetics, skincare, and aesthetics. So biohacking uh, refers to things like um, meditation, juicing, cleansing, uh, bulletproof coffee. I mean, all of these attempts really to improve your brain and body. And as you guys know, I'm a very big fan of meditation and 
also a very big fan of higher doses products. So this PEMF mat combines two very, very powerful technologies. One, PEMF, which stands for Pulse Electromagnetic Frequency, and also Far Infrared Heat. So the mat comes with this really amazing information card. It also comes with a really, really informative like user manual and how to work it and how to set it up. There's FAQs in here. It answers all of your questions. It's really, really informative. Um, but you can see up top here that reduced stress, elevated energy, rapid muscle recovery, improved circulation, restful sleep, all of these things are a result of using this mat. And I can tell you right now firsthand the reason why I'm using it for the muscle recovery, hands down, it is incredible, life-changing. I get pretty sore when I work out and I've been working out hard. As you guys know, I'm on this fitness journey. I'm working out with a trainer. He pushes me pretty hard. And when I first started working out with him, I sore for days days and then I started using this mat and it has completely taken the edge off of being sore. I would be sore, like I said, for days and now I feel a little bit, you know, like I worked my muscles, like I did something, but I'm not <laughs> like crippled anymore. It is amazing. So the infrared heat really um, helps with circulation. It helps reduce inflammation. Um, and really helps to heal. So super easy to use. Um, this controller actually is very, very reminiscent of the sauna blankets controller. So there's a little power button and then there's a dial. You just turn up the dial, the higher the number, the hotter it gets. Um, and then there's another button on here which actually controls the PEMF. So again, that's pulse electromagnetic frequency. And there are four frequencies that you can choose from. So one is delta, two is theta, three is alpha, and four is beta. And again, in this pamphlet, it'll explain to you what you wanna use those frequencies for. I'm a, a one or a two. I like delta and theta because those are the relaxing ones. Um, and then alpha and beta moves more into the waves that are a little bit more energizing. But personally, I like the one in the two. And then what's even cooler about this mat is, so there's like this mesh layer on the mat. And I remember when I first opened this up, I was like, what are those? So there's actually, you can see like amethyst, 100% purple amethyst crystals. There's 12 pounds of amethyst crystals in this mat. So here you can see there's all these layers to the mat, ends with the amethyst on top. So the amethyst, it just naturally sort of promotes the benefits of the infrared um, heat. They do recommend starting out, maybe using it for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm at the point where I can definitely use it for like 30 minutes very easily. But some days I don't have the extra time to just lay here. I usually like run back from working out. I got to start working. And this mat, it comes folded. So it comes in this carrying case, which is really awesome. It comes folded. That fold, you can also just prop it up on your chair. So I've been propping it up at my kitchen counter where I do like to work uh, when I'm not working in my office. I prop it up on the kitchen chair. And if I, you know, I just have to sit, I got to eat breakfast, I gotta eat my post-workout meal, I gotta get to working on my laptop or whatever. I just prop it up on the chair and I can do it then. It's not like a, a device I have to commit, like to set aside time for. I can use it as part of my everyday. I can also just prop it up on the couch and use it when I'm watching TV or catching up on YouTube. So it's, yeah, it's been incredible. It's really, really worked well with my lifestyle and it's, I can't tell you what a change it has made to the soreness in my muscles. And, you know, also I've been sleeping through the night and I finally put two and two together because when I started using this, I would say after a day or two, I started sleeping through the night and I thought, oh, I don't, you know, I don't know what that is. I just thought maybe I was extra tired or whatever. I don't know what was going on, but I had been having problems sleeping through the night. I've talked about this and it's this mat. I realized it was this mat. It just gives me a really sound sleep and I don't, I don't wake up in the middle of the night anymore. I'm like ecstatic, ecstatic about that. So this mat, like I said, has been life-changing. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna lay down on this mat. I'm just gonna kind of relax after that treadmill class. I think I'm finally not sweating anymore. And then I gotta shower, get dressed, meet my mom for lunch, maybe film something, um, but I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, and then I met my mom for lunch. She took me out to lunch for my birthday, which was very nice. 
Uh, we went to King's Fish House. Um, I think I mentioned that already over in Green Valley. And it was great because, you know, I'm trying to eat a little bit more consciously and conscientiously. And um, I just asked them for salmon. They had this like wild river salmon. It was delicious. Um, but I said, you know, like no seasoning, no nothing, just like plain grill. And then I asked them the same thing for asparagus and zucchini. I was like, just no oil, no nothing. And I just added a little bit of salt myself. And it was great. It was delicious. And I actually have leftovers because the portions that they give you are huge. Um, so yeah. So that was wonderful. And then I rushed home and did like a film, a quick film edit upload. I actually filmed like a full face of my current favorites at Sephora. I feel like I just haven't done that in a while, if ever. And I, I'm like, do I ever do like a Sephora video outside of like the VIB sale? I feel like that's where we're just like hammering home <laughs> Sephora. And I'm like, I don't think so. I'm like, let's do it. Let's do it today. So that's what I did. Uh, which was a lot of fun and this is the gucci satin lipstick in agatha orange and i usually wear these colors a lot in the spring summertime it just to me this is very summer and i think it looks great with like bronze skin but you know this past summer i just you know when it came to makeup just really really light not that my makeup style is changing that much but you know i kept it really light maybe you could say i was a little bit lazy in terms of like application I just haven't really been feeling it. I'll put on a little bit on. I still love makeup, but like, I wasn't going like whole hog. But today, because I did this full face and I put this lipstick on, I was like, I really, really love these colors. These like orange to red tones. I just, yeah, they just make me so happy. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta put these on more often. So anyway, maybe these will now be like a fall color <laughs> for me. But I'm gonna change. Uh, but before I changed, I wanted to show you my Celine sneakers on because I hauled them for you, but I didn't model them. They were just sneakers. So I was like, whatever. Um, but I thought I would model them for you. So here they are. And I really like them with pants that end above them. So you can really kind of appreciate the midi height of the sneakers. And they are really so, so comfortable. I really do love them. Here is the back view of them proper side view. Yeah, I'm so glad I got these. I'm glad I didn't get the low tops. I think the the Velcro strap and the midi height just make these sneakers like a little bit, a little bit more special. Oh my gosh, I've worn these like maybe two or three times out. Look at how scuffed they are at the toe already. <laughs> oh well, what do I expect with white sneakers? Oh, and I'm just wearing it with a uh, white blouse and my Everlane pants, that's it. So I am going to put my pajamas on. <laughs> It's only about dinner time now. Yeah, it's about dinner time now. I'm gonna put my pajamas on, I'm gonna wash my face, and I'm just gonna be ready to pass out whenever I feel the need, because usually happens on the days that I do a lot of cardio uh, run. I, uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, I feel like it gives me energy. It kind of evens me out all day, and then it's like, <laughs> that I just pass out. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hey guys, good morning. I'm just out of the shower. I'm getting ready for my day. I actually have to hop onto a call in just a few minutes. Um, but tomorrow, my friend Sarah is arriving uh, for my birthday. And then the next day, my friend Laura is arriving for my birthday. So I'm so, so excited. I can't believe, I can't believe it's tomorrow. I can't believe they're gonna be here soon. So I have to get the house a little bit together for them. It's it's pretty much fine. It's, it's clean. The guest bedroom is prepared for them. But, you know, I wanted to get some other things to kind of make the home a little bit more welcoming. You know, just some like nice pretty things to put around the house. So I think I'm gonna do that this afternoon. I have a lot of work to do because, you know, I wanna get some stuff done before they get here. So I'm not working while they're here. I probably will have to do a little bit of work, but I don't want it to be like full work days while they're here because then what's the point? But it's been a couple days since I vlogged because I had some tummy issues yesterday. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I just, I couldn't vlog yesterday. My stomach was bothering me all day. And yeah, and then it was just downhill, just downhill. And in fact, it started bothering me the day before. So yeah, I don't know. I feel okay today. I mean, my stomach still feels like a little not great, but I don't, I don't, it's not uh, active, we'll say. It's inactive. The volcano is inactive at the moment. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, I had breakfast this morning. I ate it slowly. I was like, is anything going to happen? Um, I ate it slowly. It's fine. So I am feeling a little bit better, which is why I'm back to vlogging. But yeah, so I'm going to hop on a call and then, uh, yeah, we're going to get the house together for my friends. I've got two calls today, actually. Wait, is that it? Yeah, I've got two calls today. I actually canceled my training session this morning because of yesterday. And I was like, I do not know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. So I'm just gonna cancel now. He was like, that's fine. Uh, he's like, rest up. So I've got two calls. I have a lot of work to do and I need to run some errands. So today is gonna be a busy day. All right, I had a very successful call and then I ran some errands. I dropped off dry cleaning. I picked up a whole bunch of boxes at UPS. I'll show that to you in a little bit. And I stopped by Smith's because, okay, my friend Laura that's stopping by, I've mentioned this before, so apologies if I'm being repetitive, but she's my friend that lives in Atlanta. And on occasion in the past, I've talked about how I've gone to Atlanta to meet up with some girlfriends. We all met in New York City and we've all like dispersed since then. And when we go to Atlanta, we go to Laura's house and we literally just sit there and catch up and eat like it's a chore for us to even like get off the couch and shower we just put our pajamas right back on anyway i think by the last day like one of us went for a walk but we basically just sat on the couch and it's so awesome you know we we make these plans or lara's always worried she's like well you know what do you want to do like on this day should we do something tomorrow you know and we're like no <laughs> just sit here and catch up so that's what we generally do. And Lara does all of the cooking and the baking, which she tells us she enjoys. So we take her up on it because she is a fantastic cook and baker. And so, you know, she and my other friend, Sarah, another one that joins us in Atlanta, she, um, so Lara basically offered to make me a cake and make me a birthday brunch. So for the cake, I bought myself these birthday candles. I'm very excited. I don't think I've ever had a birthday cake with numbers on them because I don't know. It never really meant that much to me, but I think 50, 50 is a good one. 50 is a good one to get the numbers on. And then I also, I told you I'm putting together like a little welcome bag for them. And I thought, oh, I got to get them those like bathroom, like shower poofs because I always forget to travel with one. And then I end up using just like a plain old washcloth, if anything. And it's never quite as like sudsy and fun as like a bath poof. So anyway, I go down the aisle at Smith's for the bath poofs and these were the only ones that they had. They're shaped like ice cream cones. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get them because usually ones that are made for children are really like small, but these are actually quite large. So, and then the cone is a sponge if that's, if that's what they want, but the like sprinkles on the ice cream are little sponges stuck in the netting. Isn't, isn't that cute? So anyway, I had to pick that up for them. And I had to show that to you. Uh, let me show you what I got in PR. Not a ton, um, but some really, really uh, fun ones. So I got a bunch of new shades from M Cosmetics. They're velvet lip cremes. And so these are their three new shades. Um, Hush, Flirt, and Wednesday. So Hush, Flirt, Wednesday. Now these are on the matter side. So I think the only one I'm going to try is Hush, which is, let me open it up for you guys. It is uh, a pretty deep, but still kind of like neutral kind of shade. Um, and then these other two, I just think are shades that I'm not gonna use. So I don't wanna open them because I can donate them. Um, so that is Flirt, and this one is Wednesday, which is the deepest. And I'm assuming this is named after Wednesday Adams. So very appropriate. And I think these are so great for like the upcoming fall season. They're like great fall shades. So big thank you to M Cosmetics. And then Viseart sent me a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, they've come out with a new Etendu palette and this is called Koyish, which I'm assuming is a play off of their Koi palette, which was a limited edition, like 12 pan, regular size palette. And that palette is just absolutely gorgeous. It was um, bright and uh, metallic and glittery, but it wasn't fussy to work with. The shades, while they weren't for me like everyday shades, 
I still found a way to use that palette. It's, it was just really beautiful and the, the, like the thickness or like the density of the shades were so great because you could layer them on top of other shades. So gorgeous. So I think this is basically like a smaller palette version of that. So I'm really excited to play with this. Yeah, uh, all of these have just the finest glittery goodness to them. Aren't they just stunning? So if memory serves, the Koi palette, the bigger one, I feel like was more pastel. I feel like there was like a lighter orange in there if I'm remembering correctly. So that'll be fun to play with. And then they sent over one of their Florette Bisou palettes. And this is a palette that has an eyeshadow quad and then two cheek products. So two blushes here. And then this quad, isn't that pretty? So definitely gonna have to play with that. And then they sent over three of their new quads. So this one is Rosea Lotus. This one is Sakura Lotus. And this one is Water Lotus. I love that, I love that theme. Thank you, oh, sorry, before I thank them, there's two more things they sent over. Two new shades of their Moisture Boost Lip Shine. I love the formula of these. So they sent over Plumeria and um, Cuckoo, Cuckoo, which is a shade down here. So let's just open up Plumeria because I think that's the one I'd probably end up using. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Wow, can you imagine that with this? Or with this. And these have um, a very sheer pigmentation. They're definitely like a lip gloss. So that'll just give you a nice like kind of cool appearance on the lips. And then Cuckoo is, oh, is like a reddish orange again. So perfectly paired with many of these. Actually, wouldn't this look great? Gorgeous, wow, thank you so much, Viziart. And let's see, we did M, oh, Jones Road sent me some stuff. So they sent over their uh, The Best Blush in this shade P.O.P. This looks gorgeous. I opened this up already, look at this guy. Isn't that stunning? And then uh, the brow pencil in Dark Brunette, which I already have, so I'm gonna hold on to this and donate it. And then the Jones Road Eye Cream, which I believe I also have. So I'm just gonna show you the packaging. I don't wanna open it up if I can donate it. So there's the eye cream. And that is it for today's little PR haul. Why am I sweating? <laughs> oh, I didn't, I, I went out, I turned down the AC, I forgot to turn it back on. Butters and I just got Terrible, terrible news. If you guys follow Risa over at Risa Does Makeup, um, her dog, Marnie, of I think 17 years, she was telling me, she's 17 years old. You know, her health has been deteriorating. She's an older dog, um, but finally the day has come. It doesn't matter how old the dog is or how ill the dog is. It's just, it's not an easy decision. And I feel so bad for her just so bad for her and uh, her whole family. I know her boys um, are very, very attached to Marnie. I mean, you know, they've been around for most of their lives. So I think Butters was able to meet her once, right? When you were a puppy, we went over to Teresa's. Yeah, I remember that because you peed on her carpet. I was mortified. Yeah, so if you guys follow Risa, please send her your love. What a horrible, it's just a horrible thing to go through. Send her your love. If you, if you don't follow Risa, send, <laughs> send her your love too, um, if you feel so inclined, but uh, I'm just gutted. So I was able to film a little bit and I got the last remaining product that I wanted to put into those welcome bags for my friends. I got them these monogrammed robes. Oh my God, that looks like a Laverne. <gasps> and Sarah got an S, it's like Shirley, oh my God. But it's Laura and Sarah, not Laverne and Shirley. Anyway, um, because they're sharing the bedroom, the, the guest room, which has a bathroom, but I figured, you know, if they wanted to be a little modest, um, they could use these bathrobes. So anyway, have this, and I also thought if they wanted to use the pool, um, it would be nice for them to have a cover up. There was a chance, because they were monogram, there was a chance these were not gonna come in time. Uh, so I'm so glad that they came, actually on the earlier side, so. That is awesome. And then another box showed up, and this is from Cachet. 
that homeware store in Sugarloaf where I had ordered those three pieces of glassware and two of them unfortunately arrived broken. So they sent replacements. They were so sweet. They were like, we will make this right. Don't you worry, we're gonna send out two more right now. So it just arrived and I really hope, I really hope they're okay because I would hate to keep doing this to them. They really, wow, they really loaded this down with <laughs> bubble wrap. So far I've gone through about eight layers of bubble wrap and they packed the smaller one in here, so smart. Oh, this big one is even more beautiful than I remember. Look at this, that's so pretty. It's like perfectly translucent. And then here's the other one. Oh, can you guys see? The other one is like sitting on my dining room table over there. I have to find a nice place for these. I'm thinking the fireplace mantle. I have a bunch of like stuff on there. It just looks kind of messy right now. So I wanna take all that stuff down and maybe just put some simple things like this on there. This may be too big. Yay, I have to email Cache and let them know these came in one piece. I think they'll probably be really happy to hear that. And I'm gonna put together these welcome bags for my friends. I'm deciding if I should film another video because I'm trying to pre-film uh, for my friends because my makeup looks pretty good. By the way, I just filmed a full face of clay to pearl makeup. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. If the video is up already, I'll link to the video. If not, I will link to all the products that I have on my face down there. I think mascara and loose powder are the only two things that I have on that are not clay to pearl. Everything else is clay to pearl and I love it. I love this eyeshadow so much. It's one of the new quads. And I do talk about how I made a mistake. I'll mention it here too, in case you guys don't catch that video. But when I first talked about those new eye color quads from Clay to Poe, I talked about this formula that they used where it starts out as this huge piece of dough. It's basically kneaded like a piece of dough and then it's pressed into the pan and that's the eyeshadow. And I thought all of the eyeshadows were created that way. That is not the case. It is only for the bottom left-hand corner of every single eye color quad. So the bottom left-hand corner um, eyeshadow is that kind of dough and it is meant to be a primer for your eyelid. So it's meant to be laid down first and then the other three shadows, which are a press shadow, are meant to be worked over it um, or you can incorporate uh, obviously the primer shadow in there, but it is meant to be a primer and it works gorgeously, like these shadows just blend it out so beautifully. So I had to correct myself, but I also wanted to pass along that tip that I got from Benjamin Pucky, who's the global color director at Clay de Poe. Definitely check out that video. If it's not up yet, it's coming. It's definitely coming. I was on my way to bed and I got this delivery that I was surprised they made so late, but here it is. So I placed an order on my Teresa. You guys, I've been wanting these sunglasses for so long and just not getting them, not getting them. Finally, I just broke down and got them. I was like, what, what the heck? What the heck, you only live once. And wow, this is a pretty big box for sunglasses. <laughs> Cute card and no, oh, there's no, box or anything. Oh, there's another ribbon in here. Okay. Well, at least it comes with a super cute case. Look at this case. So it is a pair of Loewe sunglasses. Are you surprised? Here's the anagram stamp. I'm guessing there's some sort of clip here. So these are, I think like the shield, mask shield something. <laughs> anyway, I really liked these version and they didn't have this particular version at my boutique here at the Wynn, this version being like the mirrored and the black frames, they had like different ones and ones that weren't mirrored, but I really wanted, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like this kind of funky shape really deserves to be mirrored. Oh my God, I love these. Aren't they cool? Oh my God, I love these and this extra protection, I have to say, very, very welcome here in Vegas. These are so cool. These are such a cool sort of like mix between being very modern and very 80s <laughs> all at the same time. Oh, I love these. There's the anagram and let's see, the gold there. 
And then on the inside, there's some like golden rivets and stuff. Yeah, just super cool. Ooh, very cool. All right, that is my My Teresa purchase, and I love them. This case is so funny. I mean, it's a cute case. This blue is so summery. It's just, I feel like you wouldn't expect these sunglasses to come out of this case. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys, I am off to bed. I'm gonna wash off this beautiful Clay de Peau makeup. I love this. Probably gonna try and do the same makeup tomorrow because I just love it so much. Good morning. I have been a busy bee this morning. I'm trying to get the house together for my friend's arrival. I, um, I'm also expecting my uh, cleaning crew. They are due to come in about an hour, but I had to, you know, put some things aside and put away some things and arrange some things. I am loving all of this candle paraphernalia that I just got. So this is that last Candle Co, I think is the full name. That is that incredibly heavy marble uh, candle holder with one of their candles in there. I'm burning Terrace Breeze. It is so fresh and lovely. It adds a really nice ambiance to the kitchen counter. Should clean up whatever's in that little seashell dish that I have there. I like hand lotion, but I have some other crap in there that I should get rid of. And then over here on my kitchen table, I have all of those cachet house market glass vases here. And so I've put a Jo Malone candle in here, which is a little bit too tall. Um, I put a Sear Trudon candle in there, which is on its last leg. So it's like burning down. So let me go upstairs and show you the guest room because I've set it all up for my friend's arrival. So I've put their tote bags here. Only Sarah's coming today. So we'll set that aside for when Laura comes, but the robe, the slippers, the visor, their bath puff, is all in there. And then I actually bought an extra pillow mist from Jo Malone for this room, because I thought the blue matched the decor really nicely. And I thought this was a nice touch for guests. This is something I picked up while in uh, New York in Sugarloaf. This I got at Merrily, M-E-R-R-I-L-Y. So they had these like fall inspired little ceramic dishes. I thought this would be really nice for like jewelry and stuff. Set up a candle. I brought my silk flowers up here. And then here are two more dishes from Merrily that I got. I know these two friends especially will appreciate these fall inspired little trinkets. And I've got my towel set up for them. And I set up some skincare for them because I don't think they probably traveled with any. So I set up a whole regime, a Tata Harper regime for them and got some hand soap. And I think we're all set doing or starting some laundry for the cleaning crew. That's it. So I woke up this morning and the first thing I did was I filmed something, which is why I have like full glam on. I filmed something and then I started kind of doing all of this and I want to get a workout in. So I'm just going to do a quick arm workout and then shower maybe squeeze in a little bit of editing and then pick up my friend from the airport. So excited. Hey guys, I am on my way to the airport to pick up my friend, my first friend that's coming in. So uh, I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. I know that seems a little awkward, but I think, I think I'm gonna start the next vlog with me picking them up. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.